Hi coders, in this video we are going to talk about the one thing which is extremely important for becoming a successful developer. And without this thing, it's almost impossible to be great at coding. In the first section of this video, I am going to talk about what this one thing is and why it is so important to become a successful developer. In the second part of the video, I am going to talk about the solution and how to get better at it. So watch this video till the end to get the best from what I am trying to explain in this video. Before I tell you what is that one thing, let me create a plot for you to understand it better. Suppose you are required to write a program to print all odd numbers from a given range or to create a waveform for registration. I am taking these two different examples so that video can cater beginners as well as little advanced coders. In the first example, we can take following steps. Declare required variables, accept and store values from user. Finally, write a loop to iterate through each variable. So in each iteration, when you check that number, if it is odd, then we'll print it. And we are just going to repeat this process. In the other example, we could follow these steps. Create required fields on the web page. Write the submit action code to submit variables to the server. Then validate user's input. If all looks good, then we can store all the values in database and we can send a welcome email to the user. And finally, we can redirect user to the login page. So if you notice for both the problems, what we have over here is an algorithm or steps to achieve the output that we want. If the steps are correctly followed, then we get the right answer. The best thing about programming is that a problem can have multiple solutions. Important is to build the most efficient solution. When problem changes, solution changes and with that steps that we build will also change. Now let us consider these steps as instructions. New learners think writing code is writing these instructions. However, coding is not typing these instructions but thinking which instructions to write in correct order. So that one thing I talked about is programming logic. So before we start writing instructions, ideally we should be clear about the logic on how to solve a particular problem. It's like writing an essay. You first gather information about a topic, then start writing sentences for your essay. So sentence by sentence, you complete your essay. Programs are written in similar fashion. We build the logic to solve the problem, construct instructions, and then instruction by instruction, we arrive at the correct working code. This concept is applied everywhere. To build something, you need to have some idea about the solution so that you can take steps towards the solution. This some idea is programming logic in case of programming. Now that we know to become a successful developer or programmer, you need to build programming logic. But how to exactly do that? Do you remember these popular puzzles that is to print these shapes without lifting pain? Or in case you have played tic-tac-toe, at first you must have lost all the games. But when you practice and found that there is a way to win always, or at least draw the play. Even today you can play tic-tac-toe with that efficiency. Now, do you remember that kid who was expert in your school at almost all types of puzzles? Why he was great at it than you? Because he simply tried solving many more puzzles than you. The same thing applies while building programming logic. You need to practice more problems so that you get comfortable with those certain programs and you get the idea about steps you need to take to solve a particular problem. The more programs you write and practice, the more better you get with programming logic. Interestingly, developing programming logic is also a problem we are discussing now. And it should be solved step by step. And these steps should be built so correctly that you arrive at the destination with the remarkable programming logic. We have cracked that code for you. We have built 101 programs to build your programming logic step by step. As the name suggests, it has 101 programs starting from printing a simple string to pointers, command line arguments and file operations. These programs are absolutely free to use, accessible on our website and blog site. You can find these programs on our Android app as well, so that you can access these programs offline and on the move. I have added all the required links in the description. With videos, you can understand concepts easily. Hence, we have built videos which has each program explained in detail. All these program videos along with theory and syntax explanations are bundled into a courseware to build your programming logic easily. 
and do check out this course it is very useful if you like this video hit the thumbs up button do share this video with your friends when you share such valuable content you also start receiving good content from them we are uploading similar videos like this to help you become a successful IT professional. So hit that subscribe button right now so that you do not miss any important video. Also hit the bell icon so that you get instant notification whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. See you in the next video.